guys, Zuldin here. Welcome back to another episode of Pixar. Squishy and I have been taking care of business. Ain't that right, Squishy? Wow. Yeah, buddy. So we ended up uh, hunting a few more Pegasus. We lost a gargoyle in the process. Wow. Retamed a gargoyle in the process. And now, and now we have a Pegasus horn after a little bit of creation. So uh squish is a little hoarse today so you might hear him a little bit less but he's still around right buddy okay so we've got the pegasus horn and silver that was the big ingredients for the staff right if we go on to the little uh table that we have here we go to weapon firearms and bam i don't know why this is called a firearm but hey anyway let's make the master one now we should have the ability to use all types of magic stones or magic dust I should say so while we had light magic essence a little while back that we could not put into one of the staffs the the or the wands the apprentice wand, we can now put it into the main wand. now my question was can we put ah, it does look like we can put the lesser magic stones in it too so I don't think we need the primitive wand at all anymore, right? Okay, let's put it up. I think I have a spot for equipment or weapons or something here. Um, I don't know. Maybe? <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. Uh, we're just going to put it in one of these chests for now. I need to get a little bit organized, but the holidays threw me all off, guys, and I changed up some scheduling for my uh, reaction videos, so... I'm, I'm to the point now that I'm a little bit overworked. I apologize for the inconsistency of videos. I have changed my Twitch stream and schedule up a little bit. So hopefully I'll be able to add some more stuff to the pot really soon. Did I even take out what I wanted to take out? No. There we go. Primitive, uh, prim oh, come on, man. Primitive magic staff. So yeah, I should have enough time now to produce a couple episodes a week. At least that's what I'm hoping for. I will try my best because uh, I know you guys have been asking for it. So I'll see what I can do. Squishy might talk a little bit less because he takes a lot of time to, to wipe up his potty mouth in the, uh, in the edits. But <laughs> anyway, okay, so let's take our newfound powers and try them out. The first thing I want to do is try out healing. That's what I'm big on. And killing all those Pegasus, we got a ton of those white magic stones. And I turned them into dust already. I, I keep forgetting the tables. So we got like 155 of it and, and tons of stone left over too. Those things were giving me about, I don't know, somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 stones a piece when I'd kill a Pegasus. And uh, yeah, a, a plant killed me, by the way. A plant killed the Gorgon. I had to run away from it. The gargoyle is still a little bit squishy because he's uh, not you, squishy. <laughs> he's still a little bit recover. He's still recovering a little bit. But at any rate, I want to take a little bit of damage here, on purpose. If you don't, if you will, yeah. Go ahead. Can you take a bite of me, buddy? I'm just gonna punch you in your butt. Punch me in the butt. Okay. Give me a give me a bite. Can you bite me? Don't bite squishy. Bite me. Oh my god. There we go. We took a little bit of damage. Not much. We'll probably heal through that. Let's go up a little bit higher so you can hit me a few more times. All right. So, oh no. My spring boots broke. Well, I should have thought about that before I did it. We probably need to re-equip. Okay. So let's see how much health we have right now. 675 and still going up. If we use this, can I right click? No. I just left clicked. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that's a huge healing effect, man. Okay, well, if that's that good, what about dark magic stones? I like the way it kind of offsets you, too. What about dark magic? Did I have some of that stuff? Oh. I had, yeah, I did already have, no, that was water. Uh, but I do have some dark, okay? So let's try the dark out on it and see what it, this is probably going to be pretty dang good <laughs> it's probably gonna be pretty good uh, I'm just gonna use it on these guys right here just to see okay yeah left click right here and um, oh wow da, da, da. he's like infected huh oh it's an area of effect does it continue to uh does it continue to work here 
How about, can I go through it? Yeah. All right, let me hit it again. It takes a little while to activate, I think. Uh-oh. He's kind of a... Uh... Is that... I'm not really understanding what it's doing. Oh, no, he's breaking my stuff. Bruh, no ammo left. Okay, well, he's dead. Um, That's a considerable amount of damage. It does take a little while to go off. But all in all, I think that's pretty impressive. Man, the area of effect on this thing and the time that it takes to go away. Primal bone pieces from a trike? Seriously? I was hunting those things in the desert. I didn't know trikes gave that much primal bone. Holy cow. Well, uh, might be able to upgrade some of my armor then. That's a good thing. I really wanted to do some ruins today, but I have nothing to like traverse the ruins with outside of a wand. And I don't think that's the smartest thing in the world. So we kind of, but we we kind of need to uh to do something on the t on the lines of uh, taming again. And I think I wanted to try out the desert. They have um, thylacolios. I don't know how big the thylas are, but the hyenodons might actually be a good thing too. So I think we're gonna travel to the desert today and see what we can as soon as I just get some more shoes here. All right, guys, we're at the desert. Squishy ended up making some potions. I fixed all my armor, so we're good to go. We got plenty of resources on us to tame something, and we're already seeing some goodness. That's a hyena, Don. You can ride them in Pixar. <laughs> yeah, uh, this one's a little bit low level. Um, there's a mantis. Man, a thyla would be great. I don't know how big the thylas are compared to the hyena, Don's. The hyena dons seem big enough uh, to, to do some damage, but they're relatively small, too. I mean, I think they'll be able to fit in dungeon corridors. My only complaint is being on the back of a, a, a dino in a dungeon and having the roof on my face. You know how it is in Pixar when you put a block on your face. You can't see anything? <coughs> yeah, Squishy, it's, it sucks. So... I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping that those are small enough to actually do something in. We'll probably be able to get some stuff done in the pyramid with one of those, at at the very least. Yeah. Being that the pyramids in the desert, maybe that would be ideal. You know, I'm not sure, but I don't see any thylas. I would like to explore one of the pyramids a little bit too. Um, at the top, there's this really really powerful scorpion. And there's usually a chest at the top that we can grab. We might try to do that if we can find a decent tame here. Um, I don't see anything, man. There's another hyena, Don, level 78. That would probably be pretty good. Based on what we have available, I don't know. I think I'd take it. All right, so let's see how we're going to do this. A trap is ideal. We already know that. Um, is there any place that we can make a pretty good trap? It might be able to come up here. Although, it's kind of trapped. Maybe, I don't know if it's kind of trapped in here or not. Hmm. Let's see. What happens if I just start shooting it? <laughs> what happens, Squishy? Oh, uh, I missed it. You have to hit it first to aggro it. There we go. Oh, we got a scorpion. Okay, that's no problem. So he can't get us on the back of the gargoyle. That's cool. Maybe he just can't come up this slope. Man, this is a powerful scorpion. Good lord. All right. Sheesh. And now we're going to have this guy to deal with too. This, uh, this terror bird. Dang, man. <laughs> Without a saddle, it adds up. The damage adds up. Where did the uh, the hyena don go? Don't tell me it ran away because we hit it. There it is. All right. Sounds good to me. Okay, that's nothing to worry about. Oh my God! You aim. You aim, Z. You aim. All right. There we go, shooting it in the butt. <laughs> it's not going anywhere, so I imagine that we'll be able to knock it out right here. We 
We got that terror bird that's kind of mad at us. This is just like a natural trap. It's just, it's a little bit big. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> we'll take it though, Squish. We'll take it. Wow. All right, he kind of started moving now. Oh, he's down. Haha, <laughs> that's what's up, Squish. All right, now we're going to need to kill an Argent, buddy. That way we could get some, um, some prime. Let's make our damage go up a little bit. We're gonna have to take care of this, uh, this here terror bird. But you know, we have, we have some better protection out than the gargoyle right now. We really do. Wow. We should just bring him out because I think we're about to get, we're about to be the victim of a sandstorm. Uh, let's see here. Where's Dune? I ended up bringing the trike too by accident. I brought the trike out because I was gonna try to get some berries. But I forgot that I had a farm full of them. <laughs> right? Okay. Calm down, Dune. We're about to let you eat, buddy. I know. I know you've been hungry. Okay. Uh, Rex. There we go. Oh, no. Actually. Perfect. There we go. All right. So, I need you to chill out, Gorgoyle. Okay? Don't do nothing that I wouldn't do. Uh, I don't think these give a prime. Nope. Regular old meats. Regular old meats. Let's get some prime from the Argent. It's a little dark, but that's okay. There's all the prime we're gonna need. That's it. And the only thing that we have to be careful for is this. The AoE on Dune's attack is really, really big. So we have to get miles away from this... Uh, from this hyena don so we don't kill it right okay that is too low i mean too high there we go <laughs> one bite chomp dang all right we have the protection that we need <laughs> as long as we don't get uh too too bombarded with threats i think we'll be okay let's see almost all of these meat stacks are really really good 78 Look at that all right hyena don you will be our friend. You will be squishing eyes partner for a little while. Wow. I should enclose this guy just in case. I think I will. I have some dirt on him and stuff. There we go, Squishy. We got ourselves a new... They're called cave hyenas in this. A little bit different. We need a saddle for it, which means we need a little bit of wood. Let's get out of our little box and see if the coast is clear. Uh, looks like there's a dung beetle here. We'll just go ahead and take care of that guy. Uh, if we can. I think we're kind of stuck to take the truth. There we go. All right. Let's take care of the dung beetle. Just in case he decides to do something silly. There we go. All right. Uh, did he leave us anything? Some territory certificates. Just what I always wanted. Are you mad, little guy? Don't worry about it, okay? Don't worry about it. So, yeah, we need some wood in order to um, to get a saddle for this guy. Or this gal, I should say. Let's convert the pig's block. Okay, perfect. And uh, there are some trees just right over the hill there. I think that's what we're going to do. Hyenodon looks to be the same power level as our little spectral wolf that we had, y'all. But we're going to have the ability to... Uh, naturally, we're going to have the ability... Uh-oh. Mega Piranha. We're going to have the ability to use a saddle with it. Which isn't a, a drastic improvement, but it is an improvement. Okay, there's a Daydon right there. I would rather not get upset. Especially since all we want to do is get wood for a saddle. That way we can start trying out our Hyena Don and, and training it up, you know? Let's go down here. This looks relatively safe. We got the swamp gas around. All right, how many wood? 40 wood, okay. That's probably enough to do what I need to do. We got hide, yeah, we should be able to do it. Hopefully we don't need uh, the smithy saddle for it, huh? Hyena, uh-oh, metallurgy, hyena saddle. Oh, it doesn't say that I need to make it in there. Hold on then, aha! <laughs> it's on the metallurgy with no metal, that's kind of weird. Okay, we'll take it though. <laughs> we'll take it. Uh, let's get out of this hole. If we can move. No, I can't move. All right, we're going to need to bring out the hyena. Okay, uh, let's see here. Hyena? Uh-huh. Um, 
You want to try that one more time? There we go. Oh, look, he did a little, he did a little dance. He shook his little tush a little bit. <laughs> I know it's squishy, it's very cute. Okay, uh, let's see. Hyena Don Saddle, Cave Hyena Saddle. And now we can ride. Oh, we're way too heavy for him though. <laughs> we're way too heavy for him. What kind of weight do we have? Man, we have too much stuff, Squishy. Too many aminals, I think. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. Uh, yeah, we have the extra trike is really going to do some damage to us. Maybe we should come back and train. I think I think that's going to be the way to do it. Let's go ahead and grab the saddle again. We'll, we'll have to come back and train him a little bit. Uh, let's pick him up. Bring out the gargoyle. And, uh, and, and go for a ride home. All right. To tell you the truth, I think the desert would have been an ideal hunting ground for a little bit of practice. But all in all, if we can get... Oh, there... We got all kind of poo-poo going on out there. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got to be careful right there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think uh, a few levels in to test out the Hyena Don before we put it to the test against some of its own. I don't know how well the saddle is going to protect against it. This is, by the way, what I was talking about. About You see that black stuff that happens with... Um, oh, my roof's a little bit too short, guys. When the, the black stuff that happens when your head goes in a block is what I was talking about earlier. All right. Uh, so, let's put up the Triceratops. Mm -hmm. And, uh, honestly, we could put up the steel and the iron, and that's going to be a lot of weight, too. That way we can just focus on uh, what the Hyena Don can do instead of worrying about it. Okay, this is... Wait, was this the iron? No, this was steel. <laughs> this was steel. Okay, get the steel out and the iron out. And the coal out. The coal doesn't weigh much. There. Okay, now we should be good to go. We might want to put a little bit of weight on the Hyena Don, but I'm not really sure how much they can take. It looks like that situation that they had on the hilltop right there is all finished with. Good. That's what I was hoping for. All right. Let's get this Hyena Don out and see what it can do. Boom. Level 79. She's a cutie. Huh, Squishy? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's put the Hyena Don saddle or the cave Hyena saddle. I'm so used to calling them hyena dons. All right, and uh, let's see. They only have 1,600 health. It's not. It's not terrible. The data truth. That's that's almost what the. Uh, I think that's what the spectral wolf started off with. But we have an extra four armor with this. It'd be nice if we could find some high end saddles. But okay, so damage goes up four points at a time. Health goes up 22 points at a time, which is pretty good. Let's see if we could two shot this pteranodon. Oh, one shot, actually. That's a little bit better than I actually thought it was going to be. Huh? What do they drop in treasure chests? Oh, Lord. Territory certificates. Okay. So, we can jump. We can right-click. We can left-click. Good. Good, 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 good. So, I don't know what their abilities are, if any, outside of, you know, their normal attacks and stuff. Let's let's kill a few things though. 123 damage is not that bad. If I pump damage up by three points, we go to 130. So that's pretty good. So that's average three points per tick. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. Um, let's let's bring up health. I think health needs to be really beefy. I I, I really do. Also, these trikes, they don't really give a whole lot of primal bone often. So, I am going to try to kill them when I see them. Okay, 130 at a time. Uh-huh. That should be some primal bone right there. Ah, only one, though. That was that was a kind of lame chest. <laughs> but we could definitely train here a little bit. Uh, also, if we want to get a little bit more frisky, we could go to the magic biome, the neighboring magic biome. Okay, let's add a little bit more health. Now we're up to 1,700. Pretty good, pretty good. 
I don't know what those snowmen are all about. I'm kind of afraid to test it to tell the truth. <laughs> they might, you know, some of these things in Pixar kind of have abilities. Like those plants, most deadly things in the game. Straight up, they will kill you before anything else. All right. Dog against cat. Uh, 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 uh. Or uh, dog against beetle and cat. Careful now. Careful. Well, that wasn't that bad at all. That wasn't that bad at all. We can take a lot of damage pretty quick when we get in double team like that. Okay. These are just gems. We don't need to worry about those. All right, man. Well, this seems to be pretty darn good. How are we going to deal with fire? 1839. Let's go ahead and kill this flame spider. It's a level 100. He's a big one. Okay, that was a lot of damage that he just did to us, I think. Actually, not that bad. It could be worse. The fire is actually not burning me. And he's not able to hit me where I'm at. Actually, the area of effect of his bite is actually really, really good. Okay. That was pretty good. That's going to be some decent XP. Uh -huh. A couple more health. We're up to almost 2,000 health. I really like that, that 2,000 number. I think it's a good place to to be at least going into ruins honestly we should train a good bit more but i'm really not sure how much more effective we're gonna be uh we're gonna need to be with the wand and stuff i really think that we'll be able to take on the pyramid and do very well should we take on a gargoyle i guess we're doing this oh man knockback okay they do 70 to us how about this right click attack 145 Oh, I don't get that all the time, though. I don't get that all the time. All right. He's doing a significant amount of damage to us. And we're not too mobile. We're not too mobile. Maybe we're a little bit heavy? Uh-oh. We got a kitty cat involved, too. Can we do our right-click attack? Nope. Okay, but we destroyed the kitty cat. All right, we're at half health now. <laughs> See what I mean? It could go quite fast. We have 1,990 health. Okay, so if we do our little trick, Squishy's, Squishy's not set up to do the heals yet, but yeah, when we go into the when we go into a dungeon, we're gonna be ready to go. Squishy is gonna be ready to go, right, Squishy? Yeah, we'll be able to do a lot of healing really, really quick, and I think we're gonna be just fine. Now, there is one thing I want to test that's going to be a little bit dangerous. Let's go back next to the house. And I want to see our capabilities with the wands and how they affect our tames. Because the last thing we want to do is use an ability that will ultimately kill ourselves. <laughs> that would be so bad, right? Okay, yeah, we're going to need to add a little bit of weight, I think, here. 414 out of 512. I want to see how many points we get. We're going to we're going to drop all of this. Cuz we fill up real real fast. We kill one more thing, we'll raise the level and wait just to see what happens. It might be an impressive number, maybe not so much. Okay, there's our level. Wait, we go from 512 to 538. That's pretty good. So a few points in wait would definitely uh, be welcome here, especially how many levels we can actually get when we really really start fighting with this thing. Okay. Uh, so, now that our health pool is full again, the Heine Don health, uh, pretty, I mean, really healed pretty fast. Let's go in the front yard, just so that we don't have to worry about oncoming traffic. And uh, we're going to do two things. Okay, can I hit it with the sword? I can, but it didn't do any damage. Good. It just looks like it would. Ha <laughs> ha. Perfect. Okay, that means we can let them loose in the fray without having to worry about without having to worry about hitting them. So that means they could be attacking on the side of us instead of us just being on their backs. Because we have quite a bit of armor. We could take some real damage and when it comes down to it. And we could dish out double if we're attacking and the animals attacking, right? And finally, let's try the wand. Dark magic. And I want to try the heal out, too. First thing we're going to do is the dark magic. Okay, it doesn't look like we were able to hit it. Okay, did that hit me? It actually did. It actually did, but it didn't do any damage. 
Uh, did a little bit of damage. Okay, I gotta be careful with that, but... Did the hyena take it in? No, it sure didn't. Alright. Fair enough. Uh, now it's time to take a little bit of damage and see. And what better way than to get in a big fight with two things that we can... Oh, you stole my kill. Well, it's kind of the other way around, huh? I was trying to steal your kill. <laughs> can we do a little bit more damage than the car, no? This guy's only level 14, though. He could literally out damage us. Easy, okay? We took... Uh, no, not enough health missing yet. I'd really like to see the effects of this. Let's get into one more fight. One or two. Anklo, perfect. Level 10. I'm not really sure what that right click ability is, but you can't use it often. It has a it has a long cooldown. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be a good uh, way to check to see if we can actually heal. Man, yeah. Okay. So first things first, let's get white magic on the staff. We have 1,360 health. We can uh, left click and I don't think it's healings. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I think it's a double tick. I think it's a double tick. It's hard to tell because they heal so fast already. 29, 37, 43, 54. Maybe we should try to kind of count. Okay, let's test this a little bit. Okay, so we're at 1730. We're healing up 40, 50, 60. 70 80 okay i got i got the pace down pretty much let's try Fifty. Eight. Oh yeah it's a lot faster guys it's a lot faster holy this is gonna be a good combo guys if we could heal our animals we could do so much more that's one of the things i'm gonna focus a little bit more on health actually that's really really awesome so if i were to let's let's just see here let's just see what i can do if i were to get in a fight this is a 114 anklo okay uh, i don't have the attack set up yet i don't know my buttons <laughs> I usually use something in arc, which is the mouse button 4. So, let's see here. If I... I think it might be a semicolon by default. Or a period. The weather's all bad right now. Hmm. I don't know. I might have to look it up real quick. Options. Buttons. Attack, target. Yeah, thumb, mouse, too. Whistle, attack this target. I have it already. Is it not working? No. Okay, now it's working. Okay. This is just a level 58 gem spider, but... Okay, I'm just going to use the healing on it. Let's take a look at its health. I think I need to do another one. Yeah, honestly, switching back and forth between healing and fighting with a sword, I think is going to be a great strategy. So again, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40. And now... I don't know how much faster it is. You guys tell, tell me if y'all know anything in the comments. I would love to hear what it is but uh i think squish and i are gonna go in and get some 
some warm hot cocoa or something like that because it's cold out. Well, Guys, I hope y'all really enjoyed this episode. If you did, give us some dap on that like button. Let me know in the comments what you think, and I'll see y'all next time. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljan and Squishy signing off, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.